Hey, let me show you how we can fix the battery drain issue on the Samsung Galaxy A55 5G. So we can actually turn on and off a lot of different options that will definitely improve the battery life on the smartphone. Uh, but of course, you don't have to change everything uh, like in this video. So first, let's go into the settings. Now we'll have to start from the security and the privacy. When you go right here and now scroll all the way down, you can actually find the more privacy settings. And first, just turn off this option. Send diagnostic data. Click here. Now tap on this one and click OK. And as you can see right now, we just turn it off. Now when you do this, just scroll again and move into the usage and then diagnostics. And also turn off this option. From this, we are going back we have to move into the location. Now, be sure that you also turn off location when you don't need to use it. So when you are not driving your car, when you are, I don't know, walking somewhere with the map navigation, just be sure that you turn it off. If you need it, just activate it back. Then go into the location services and be sure that you turn off the Wi-Fi scanning and also the Bluetooth scanning. Next, you will have to go back and now we are going into the Google. Now just wait for the loading screen. And uh, when we are here, we will have to actually go into the all services. Now just scroll down, move into the device and the sharing. Go into the devices and, and, and disable another option, scan for the Nerby devices. Then we go back from this one and we are going into the advanced features. So from this, we have to turn off the smart suggestions. You can also turn them on, but for example, turn them off for specific options, like for example, the Samsung keyboard, the calendar, messages, calls, settings, or for example, reminder. But I recommend you to turn it off at all. Next from this, uh, we are going into the device care. Click right here. Now move into the app protection and perform the scan phone. So be sure that on your smartphone there is no any malware, any detected, any, any suspected um, stuff like some viruses because it's also draining your battery. So now your smartphone is going to scan every application one by one and if there's like any threats, you will actually get information after it hits the 100%. So let's take a look. So in my case, as you can see, there's like no threats detected. But if you have any issue, just get rid of this specific application or specific files. Next, uh, we have to go, we have to actually stay in this device care and we have to go into this software update. And as you can see, it's also very useful to update your software because when there's like some real issue with the battery, Samsung is going to fix this by applying the new settings, the new updates to your phone. So go into the download and the install. And from this, just be sure you that you download the latest software and then simply apply it to your phone by restarting your smartphone by clicking here. From this, we have to go back and we have to move into the app battery usage. So go into the battery. And as you can see, when you scroll down right here, we can actually find which application is actually draining your battery the most. So in my case, there's like, most of these apps are only system apps. But if you actually download at all of different apps on your phone, probably it will be appears right here. Maybe some application is actually popping in the background taking your mobile data or the Wi-Fi data. So be sure that you actually remove any application that you are not using, but it's actually right here and draining your battery. Next, let's go back from this one and hit the accessibility. And from this, we have to go into the vision. We have to scroll down and we have to reduce the animations. So turn it on and now we are going back. We have to also remember about some basic stuff. 
like for example turning on the dark mode. Also, when your battery level is also really low, you can try to remove the motion smoothness uh, and enable the 60 Hz. Right now the scrolling effect will look definitely not good, but it will save your battery a lot. In this video I'm going just to turn it on back just to get better experience for you, but just remember about this function. Also there's like the screen timeout, so if you don't need to get your screen timeout for the 10 minutes, for example, you often leave your phone like this with the, with the screen turned on and it actually it's actually turned it on for the 10 minutes but you are using it only for one minute for example so be sure that you reduce to two minutes or for example one minute is also very important for your battery for your battery life if you are not using some options like for example the edge panels that appears right here just turn them off next uh, when you go into the settings uh, and for example you are in your home and you don't need uh, you are connected to the Wi-Fi uh, just be sure that you turn off the mobile data because it's also draining your battery so here we can just turn them off and the same when you are outside and you are using your mobile data you can turn off the Wi-Fi also if you have any other options enabled like for example the flashlight or mobile hotspot and you are not using them just rem remember to each time turn it off because it's actually draining your battery. So uh, this is it. This is my tips for the battery um, life on the Samsung Galaxy A55 5G. Right now, please tell me if it works and subscribe to my channel.